let's see, let's see, how are we doing? Is YouTube alive? Or is it not? I think we're functional again. Yup. Oh, honey, it's been so soon. <laughs> Fantastic, alright. So, I, the last time, that's actually help menu, I didn't always with that. Uh, the last time that we were around. Excuse you. I thought that wasn't a dream loop, it was apparently. I've been building this game for years. Alright, anyway, let's do this for years. It has not been years this time around for this, but we can pretend. Alright, so, uh, last time you would have seen us in a live stream, there was a penguin floating in our midst. Um, <laughs> there was a dead child floating in my attic. Um, what am I trying to say? Right, so the last time we live streamed, uh, I think I added coyotes? I'm not 100% sure what I added. But I added a few new critters. But in between, I also added a completely different place. If I remembered my hotkeys, this would be great. I don't. That's not it. Wait, wait, I remember. Double click. We added this place last time. Uh, we were in Planet Zoo. And we added it in a video, not in a live stream. Very few people watch that, even though most people would only watch my live streams of Planet Zoo. Do you check that out? There is always the official playlist for the series in the first place. So, in here, we have... <clears throat> giant Ant Eaters, if we may. Uh, that gives you a, a first, if you are, a first person perspective. I didn't expect that. Look at you, you bastard. Didn't expect you to do that. Okay. But yes, and we also have, of course, the monkey. And all of that. So we have a bunch of these monkeys. We have these giant ant eaters. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, the one thing I've noticed about them, though, is that these anteaters, one of them always consistently has scars and scratches on them. I don't know why, even when they're perfectly fine and healthy. But yeah, this is a very beautiful little place. And then off camera, I added this big ass penguin, penguin exhibit over here. I, yes, we added this. Actually, I think I added this in the last live stream, I believe. It might have been another video I did, but I think we added this in the last live stream. Uh, this was... Let me remind myself, it's been a while. It was the AR Dwarfs. I should name... Oh, yeah, here's one. I should name one of them uh, Aaron. a Aaron. It's a, a Whammons. But, eh, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be lazy about it. <laughs> there we go. No, it's perfect. Alright, but anyway. So I added these penguins to the zoo as well. And this is by far the biggest exhibit I have in the entire zoo. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, my darling. I mean, look at these. <laughs> I got a buster. Now, I don't think Buster is supposed to be one of these penguins. I could be completely wrong, but uh, I got this when I was just like well over a decade ago, like probably close to two decades ago, if not two decades ago. I got Buster in, uh, at the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport. It's a gift that is one of two things I've only ever gotten from my dad as a gift properly, so that's pretty funny. Anyway, different story. We also have a guest host and cram it the frig. But yes. So we have a Guina Ping. Penguins. Plenty of them. It's wonderful. Um, 
Yeah. So, can I get... <laughs> oh god, it gets kind of stuck, doesn't it? Oh, that's interesting how that works. I do love penguins. They're, they're very adorable, feathery torpedoes, but they're also very stinky, as you might expect. They are awesome, yes. But yes, they're adorable. Um, this is the look at that exhibit. Probably have another look a little bit later. I'm assuming these are all penguins. Yep. You already got. No, you haven't got that one because we already have. You grabbing them. Mysterious. This one was the first one, Fumu, and he he's still considered to be ill. Because the vet did not come from them, even though they were the first ones that we were notified about. So, the question is, as you always, where should I put... Actually, it's probably... No, yeah, it's the second biggest exhibit. But, um, where should I put the... One button exhibit. I have to have some enemy one buttons. I probably should put it around this vicinity. But do I want it this close to the penguins and all that? Sure. We can have a random Australian exhibit in there. The dingoes are way off over here. So it would give more variety. I think... Is that the lemur or the penguin exhibit? I think that's... No, this is the lemur exhibit. Yeah, so that's... A penguin exhibit. It's the uh, dingo exhibit. So it would force people to walk a long way away from where they came from. To go and see this. We already have some uh, lions over here. Wait a minute. I'm trying to think. No, actually, that's this is the lemur exhibit over here. That's the dingo exhibit, I think. No, no, no. That's the lion exhibit. That's the lion exhibit, that's the, that's the lemur exhibit, because the dingo exhibit is next door to the, across the way from the, uh, the lemurs. And this is the, not baboons, but the things that look like baboons, but aren't the mandrills? Yeah. Alright. So I think we're gonna go here and build it. I think is what we're gonna do. I'm actually surprised how few people are coming back in here. I'm assuming it'll pick up eventually. Because these are obviously, you know, normal people paths, so there's no reason why people shouldn't be coming up. I guess they're stopping there. And they don't want to view over here, which is kind of interesting. I guess they're only because they're viewing from the opposite side. They're all pouring in here, though. So I think we're going to get started on the Wombat exhibit now. This is awfully close to them, though. Where was the, uh, the last, like, staff building's place I built? Like, spammed a bunch. I put a few things in there. They weren't staff buildings, though. Okay, this this camera is insufferably slow. <laughs> We're gonna go into that. Like the standard. The bolt and breed. Well, you see, that seems like a you problem. Oh. Uh... I usually only have, yes, the mates be, can I get to him specifically? I mean, yes, this is you, I think, mm, yeah, you're, yeah, I already expected that one, god damn it, and the lemurs are still glitchy, socially, that's, that's always nice. So that was potentially preventable. I don't know the whole family tree. It's been a long enough time. That's floating. It's been a long enough time that I don't remember the family tree. So I, yeah. I may just have to like completely restart from scratch. God, that's annoying. Okay. So we obviously we built a few things back in here. Not many, but a few. And yeah. How much space is there to the edge of the map over here? I don't think that much. But that's why I put these 
staff buildings back here and like it looks to potentially extend them. I just remember how finicky it is with staff building locations. So I think what I'm gonna do I could actually put it in here. One of them in here and the I feel like as of the trees, the coons would be kinda of fun over here. But I have expanded a bunch this way, so maybe I should go over here, yeah, because there's a big gap over here. So I think I'll put Wombats over here. I think it's one of those here. We'll probably put the Wombats. Let's see. There's a staff buildings and stuff up there. Bunch of stuff back there. Yeah. This is a big waste of space back here. Um, it's like all the staff buildings. So I may need to like rearrange some of this. I do have this path that just kind of wraps around. So I might opt to just like, these are already blockaded back that way. Those are visible, so they're gonna bitch about that. But this, this is just gonna be a big waste of space if I don't do something with it. So... Damn, everybody's always in breeding. It's just, I swear to dog. Why does everyone have to be obsessively in breeding, goddammit? Angry. Well, that seems like a you problem, my dear. Yep, already pregnant. 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 You are on contraceptives. So I'm assuming it's you. What? How, okay, so she bred with one of two ostriches that are already on male contraceptive. That's always fun. Okay. Keep me distracted as usual. Let's go and grab. Why wow, I'm so turned around. Let's go and put... I mean, I really feel like the idea of raccoons in there, though. I think, though, I gotta stick around with what I was gonna do over this side and fill in this little gap, because it's still very small. It's a very small bean. And I want to make sure that this is all dealt with and expanded upon. So... We're gonna do that. Coons would make sense across from that. That's where the doll sheep, I believe, I have are at. This is the dolls, right? Oh, ain't you just a doll? <laughs> Got him. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna add the wombatants over here ish. Yeah, and I think I'm going to try to do something different today. And instead of doing the typical thing where I'm planting trees, I think, which is very pretty. It's the prettiest way to do it. I think what I'm going to have to do is build some walls. And I now have a 50s diner that I didn't have before. Nice. You can tell I haven't been around for a while because there's a bunch of stuff that was not here before. American Bullfrog exhibit. American Bucktooth Losers. Right, right, right. Okay. So what I want to do is I want construction, I believe. How about architecture? I would like some walls, sir. Thank you. Wait, really? That is a fuck ton of those. I don't know what to do with that because it's a complete set and I don't like it. But it would be really nice to have it be a lot easier like that. Oh, nice. Already got the, uh, the giants, which is always great.
So yeah, that's just white. So let's go with that. And let's wool this in a bit. Hold on, I'm gonna do it this way. And then I would like to do this. That was laggy. And let's do this. A wall in this vicinity and area a bit. Because we want to always make sure that these danged people stop biatching all the time about a boat seeing a single pixel of a building. Stop building or whatever. Building. So these kinds of things are just always necessary, which is always annoying. But this way they can't really see them. In theory. So do that. And then... Not what I wanted. I wanted to rotate it. Try again. This is this. So that's how it's gonna click. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit off kilter, but I guess that's okay. I don't want to block in the path. I did it again. Okay. I'm gonna do something like that. You know, that kind of blocks where I wanted to bring the path in. So, that's actually not what I wanted to do. I guess I gotta do a plant there, don't I? And I wish D was Bulldoze, but it's not the Bulldoze Hockey. I can't remember what the Bulldoze Hockey is. Oh god, we have to do this again. <laughs> um, wait, I could just click it. I'm being dumb. Okay. Let's pull... I was gonna pull on another path, but that doesn't make any sense. Let's, uh... Actually... I could just have the back of it hooked up. I wouldn't even need to connect here. It'd be good if it did, but it wouldn't need to, so actually I think I'm just gonna do that. So, uh, let's get... Oh wait, actually, I wonder if it... Right, 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 I gotta double click both my nieces for some reason. I can actually try to use the... Here. Ha. Nope, don't want that. Get crunk. Now it's in, like, free place. Why is that in free place? Oh, that's kind of annoying. Damn. Well, that'll work. In theory. As usual. Bear with. I actually want to, like, incrementally. There we go. So you hold that. I thought I remembered that correctly. Place it like against that piece, and then I can re rotate it again back the other way. I don't want the game to think I'm blocking the path in though, so like this is gonna be a bit annoying. Okay, uh, we'll do that, and then. They will see the roofs of it, and I know that the buildings, and they know that they get really pissed about that too, which I think is super stupid. I think you can place these on top of the others, can't you? You can't. Well, actually, no, you can. You can do steps. I'm not sure how you do steps, though. That is not it. Page up. Nope. That's not annoying at all. I don't know what that's doing. Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay, I can do that. I didn't know that. Okay. Let's go to the haberdashery thing first. And animal burrito. And what we want... A aviary for owls. That's cool. I like that you can just use generally, like, pre-built stuff. I do think that's really cool. But... I do also like building my own. Better. Uh, let's go with... What am I looking for? I want... No, I, I don't want that. I want the barriers first. And... I'm assuming... 
Wombatants. Alright, let's get an animal trading first, and let's look for Wombats, which are going to be on the opposite of said it was wild water buffalo. Why do they feel the need to say wild? I don't know. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Um, Thompson's gazelle. Wait, what? Wait, do they not have normal habitats? Oh, because it's going to be under C because common. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> okay, well, Wombatons. Um, I want to look at the. Uh, yeah, I want to look at the. Uh, Zoopedia really quick. It's <laughs> so fuzzy. So cute. Um, let's see. I wish they had southern hairy nose wombats. Now those are goddamn cute. They're so cute and so fuzzy. Big lumps of muscle and feist. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So they're a little harder with this kind of thing. Just four months. Hmm. But it's two years in between uh, the points when they can have another. Very interesting. What am I doing? Confident. Yes. No. Polygon. Po po Polygynous. I don't know how you say that. No dominance. So basically, this is fine. Temperate. Yeah, I don't think so, Tim. But okay. So bases. That doesn't sound right. Base is uh, 2,906, and if it did that, 3,148. I always overdo things anyway, so. Uh, it says, does that say negative 4? 238 degrees? Negative 4? I don't think that's right either. 3.3, though, that's it. It's just grade 2, so that's actually really cool to know. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, only 3.3 feet. The thing is, is that they do burrow. So, and they're very prolific diggers. I mean, that's why they have the claws like they do. So, yeah, about that. And then this is, I'm assuming this is specifically for people to experience. I assume. I don't know. But I assume. And since they are confident around people, I don't have to worry about anything at all. Dilapidation rate, none. Resistance is just, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Low, transparent, flammable water types. It's technically the same. It's just that this is thick, so it has higher resistance, which is totally fine. And I'm actually going to go lower. Normally I don't, but I'm going to. I'm going to do the minimum. They said 3.3, .3, right? Oops. 3.2. Uh, Let's do 3.5. Oh, crap. I forgot that that's where it is. I want to move that. No. Right onto the corner if I can. And it moved it right back. Why did it move it back? Thank you. Uh, it's still a bit far from the edge, though. Apparently. There we go. Okay. That'll work. Yeah. That's already going to be oversized, you can tell. Really? Really? Why is that? Why? Why does it think it can't connect? I don't get it. That's very annoying. 
I guess I gotta curve it. Yeah, let's rotate. I don't like the UI being in the way like this, but... I want it to be pretty straight on. I don't know if that is straight on. It probably isn't. That's fine. Okay. I did not mean for it to be 66 feet, though. And that is kind of getting a bit closer. Um, I think. Yeah, if I have it perfectly straight, it will be a bit too long. Okay, go away. Let me put in the gate. This doesn't even say what it is. They can easily chew through things, so for realism's sake, I'm gonna do that. Wait, nope, that's facing the wrong way. Fuck off! Let go! Hello? You. That's not what I meant by move. I want, no. I need you to flip. How do I flip it? I can't think, I don't think I can flip it. I think I got it. nope, I don't want that wall there either. Okay, try this again. I was rotated the opposite way, so I put it the wrong direction, which is freaking annoying. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. I could arc it. I think that's what I gotta do, yeah, I gotta arc this, okay. Edit, delete this, delete, and then let's shorten this a lot. Like that, let's curve it. Not what I meant. Do something like this, and then we'll go back to the gate. Try to put it there. Yes. Perfect! Okay. And then we can go back to where it was. Where we were, and then it's too short. Because of course it is. It's fine. So, the gate disappeared. Now, why is that? <laughs> I don't understand why it just like eviscerated itself and it stopped existing. It did it again. Didn't it? No. Okay, I don't know why I did that. That was that was extremely weird. But we'll work with it. Okay. So that's that. Now we need to build more the rest of the way. So I want, I want straight sections. Sexy in. Let's do this. I do not need it to be 66 feet, but we'll do it. <laughs> not like that. That's an entire segment that would actually suck. These other ones I think are 40 something feet. Do like or 33 or something like that. Let's do it to here. No, actually, let's do it a little further. Because then it'll be directly behind, and it won't let me do it because it thinks I have to do it at an angle like that. I wish there was something like prop anarchy or whatever in there. It thinks it's obstructed, but it damn well knows it's not. Because it's literally the exact same wall. That is very annoying. That's not what I meant. You freaking know it. Okay, so it's gotta be curved, apparently. So we'll do that. Curve. Something like that, then we'll go straight. I was about to say, then it can complain and bitch at me and tell me that it's too close. Too... 
Because that one's not placed on the path, actually, so let's move this onto the path. I normally like putting it off the edge instead because it's not intrusive into the path like some of the other things have to be or should be. And so it's just like better priority, I guess, is what you could say it is. But yeah. Oh, connected. So that's pretty good. All right. So that's the full thing now. I don't like the fact that it has this open gap, but I can put the habitat sign there. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, but before we do that, obviously, let's uh, do this. But we want to do preferably common wombatant. Wombatant, please. Common womble. Womblehausen. Okay, yeah, so it just uses a normal size animal burrito, which is what I thought. Alright. Let's just think about where I want some things. I actually don't like this. I'm gonna edit that piece of the barrier, because that's actually annoying to me. Edit barrier. I'm gonna delete this segment. I'm gonna delete this one too. And then we're gonna extend it to, like, 10 foot segments or whatever it allows us to do in order to connect. There we go, without breaking that curve. And we're gonna go back to Habitat, the common one button, and let's figure out what we wanna do. So these two will be able to see each other, but they are both Australians. One's a dingo and one is a wombat. So actually now that I think about it, I don't even have to worry about that. That's actually really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Try to figure out where I want something. I'm going to do... I want to rotate this, right? I have to do it this way. So I want to do it like that, and I think I want to have one to where... I kind of do want to have one like over here. Not that it matters. I would love to have uh, one of these things visible. You can do that. You can also put cameras supposedly inside of it. But uh, yeah. Put two anyway, so let's do something like. Okay. It's really close though. I didn't want it that close. I think I'm actually going to have them in opposite corners again. Maybe. Now, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do this, actually, like, back here, I think, is a good idea. And then... I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but... Hmm. It's awfully large. That's a really large shelter. Seems a bit too much, I would say. Like, for two? That's kinda cool, I guess. Kinda like the idea of a metal one, though. I'll do pig. I'll do. Since they're confident around people, I guess I don't have to have it like buried away or anything, but I have an idea for what I want. I keep forgetting. <laughs> My shelter areas. So I think I can do something like that. And as always, I want my perpetual waters and stuff, so put this like shouldn't need more than two. I usually always put uh, 
some extras in, but that's totally fine. Let's do it like... I think it'd be kind of cool to have these waterers so close to each other, so let's do it like there. We got a permkern, of course, because of this time of year. Definitely want a proper rubbing pad. We always love a good scratch and butt rub and belly rub, so. Actually, yeah, let's try and like coax people this direction. You know? It makes the most sense, I think. They do love toys too, which I think is really cool. Uh, let's see. I think we'll need that. Oh, Christ's sake. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna put another one over here. Because each of these individually, I think, act as actual beds for these things. These things. That's mean. These like critters. So as a result, I'm gonna do that. So then, you know, they have multiple places they can lay, but you'll always be able to see one or the other. Cardboard box is kind of fun. Almost like a cat at that point, right? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the food thing, though. Right behind the computer. Durr. You don't require any water real life. I know that for a fact because of the sanctuaries I I watch. So or that I know of that have these. You know, have wombats and all that. I know they don't need them. So do it there. And then what we'll do. Oh that's all that. We'll start to do the rest of the decorations. So let's do continent. We want Oceania. And then both temperate and it was desert, right? Not grassland. Oh, that doesn't really make sense, does it? I'm gonna have to look at that again. Let's see. Animal trading. It was. Grassland. Okay, it was grassland. Alright. Cool, cool. Aeroids. A bank to these. So we wanted it to be that and grassland. That's why I immediately stalled myself. I'm like, mm. I remember. I remember. I remember that it. There's no way temperate and uh, the other go together like that. So let's do it this way. How long? Did it, wow, it's already been 40 minutes. It doesn't feel like it this time around. I should be doing this actually instead. Come on, let me put it deeper. Annoying. Um, 
So that's rotate. How do I get it to go lower again? Oh my god, not the camera. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I don't recall. What's the annoying part? I do like this though, this is actually really cool. There won't be any trees around here, but it's totally fine. Super pretty. It's one of my favorite things about autumn, is the leaves and all that. Just freaking everywhere. And then the crispness, the weather changing to much more stormy and wet. It's just. Cool. Sure. Make some like unique and interesting shapes, right? Why not? Okay, anyway, that's not the point. It's big. Oh, you weren't kidding. That thing is immense. I am looking for rocks first. I said rocks. Why is it giving me everything that has rocks in it rather than rocks itself? Huh? Bruh. That's not annoying at all. Okay. Savannah, we want... I mean, the Savannah rocks, to be fair, do look really good in an Australian sense because of the fact that they are red rocks, which I think look great. And they're only giving us those two anyway, so... Let's do that. <laughs> you can put it on the inside. Hmm. I want some normal ones, so that's what I really want. them to be that big though. My idea in my head was not that gigantic. It wasn't... Alright, well, maybe it was. I don't know. This is a little bit more like it though. I want to rotate this and let's do it like this. I like that you can kind of combine rocks together like this. It looks really good, I think.
I wish it would allow itself to conform like that otherwise, but it just doesn't. Sure. Like that would be kind of cool. really cool yeah that would that made total sense that would make uh, perfect sense I love it would let me connect these together but it just doesn't it's really unfortunate I'd sort of do it that way if I wanted to I don't think it would accept that much further. Let's see. That's kind of what I was thinking of something where these would overlap each other. Seems like I need to go with something like this in order for that to work. It doesn't quite work how I'm hoping. Oh! F <laughs> Damn it! Then, I'm gonna do something like this. For the rotate it. It's not the rotation I wanted, actually. Oh, that's a rotated world axis, my bad. It does kind of phase through, which is not what I wanted, but it's not a... It's not a bad thing, necessarily. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go to the opposite side. And I'm, like, way further away for some reason. Actually, yeah, that looks pretty freaking good, doesn't it? That's not what I was looking for, and that's what I was intending to do, but that works. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's that's really good. Yeah, that wasn't even what I was intending on doing, but that totally freaking works. Whoops. Um, I like that. That's really not. That's really nifty. The, um, whoops. No, I didn't want you to do that. Oh, man. Council. You. I fucked it up. Which bitch is in the ditch? Uh, that wasn't the one I meant to do, but that will work. Nope. Still the wrong one. Yep, that's that. This. I want the green one. Then I want this. I want to pull you this way a bit, I think. Yeah. And then I want to push you down. Oh, you're not in the right spot at all. I need you to come this way. I think I need to rotate it again. So. Maybe I do. I don't know. Do I? Yeah, no, this is not in the same placement it was before. Even the, the intermit interception with the cladding is altered. That's not right. It does sit on this rock fine, and in reality, it would work just great. 
But this just doesn't look as good as it did before. I think I need to pull this further this way. Foremost, in fact. Something like this, maybe, and then like this. Or no? I don't know. Something like this, and then we'll do this. Okay, I know what I need to do with the rotations. I need to rotate this, I think, up a little bit more. Right? No, I don't. I don't know what I need to do. This doesn't look how I planned, or how, what I had before. I might be completely wrong. I don't know. It's gonna be weird to look back at this and then be like, did I completely think that I that it looked totally different when it was exactly the same? I don't know. I guess that's kind of an art side in my in me, because that's always the weird thing, is that you end up doing this, like, tweaking, and yeah, see, that's not right anymore. So that means now I need to do this again, and I need to rotate it again. That way. Like that. I'm wondering, like, is this something subtle and I'm not realizing it? Or, like, what exactly am I doing here that just doesn't look like it was before. I don't know. Let's try it like that. How does that look? I don't know. It feels like there's like more gaps that weren't here before and they're bigger than they were. I don't, I don't know. Huh. All right. Well, that's that. I think I'll probably keep it that way. You can just see a gap with the grass behind me. That's interesting. But I kind of like how that looks at the moment. I think I'll accept that, because I don't want to spend too much extra time tweaking shit. <laughs> that would be really annoying. Okay, so let's get to the other portion of what I wanted to do with this, which was I wanted to take... I think I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm just going to get rid of the tall grass first, because it really does get in the way of me envisioning what I'm trying to envision. So let's go, let's see. Straya would have more rock and like dirt, so I'm gonna do something like this. Down under. Down under. Let's go like this. For 70% intensity, this is pretty pathetic in my life. <laughs> but we'll get rid of that. We'll put a bunch of dirt through here. How is that 70%? This seems really weird to me. Really slow for 70. We'll roll with it. Max it out as best we can. Can't wait till we get our very own Wardy Woos in here. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. It's, it's not maxed out, so we'll do that. Cool. Okay. Now that that's that way, then that should really improve. Yes. Really improves what I'm trying to do here. So I can actually see what I want to do. So, let's get our trees going. Yes, <laughs> baobabs. Definitely not just African trees. They're they're all over the world. Definitely. Cornflowers are bachelor buttons. Do they have those down under? Or somewhere in Oceania, I guess they do. Blue cornflower, also known as bachelor buttons. I love the purple ones myself. Blues are natural, so they're the most common. Right, it's, 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 whoa, that was a lot more liberal than I thought it would be. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, there's another one. Oh, yeah. I, this looks, this is so freaking blue that I thought it was highlighted. Also shows how much skitties, 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 skitties skylines I've been playing lately. As usual, I'm just gonna kind of over-spam these a bit. I shouldn't, but I will. But this is not what I was planning to do. I was not planning on planting bachelor buttons. Or other pretty little flowers, but we're gonna do this. And I was gonna complain and say, oh, too much of this. This isn't uh, natural for the wombats. And it's like, well, I kind of figured, but you're the one who's telling me it's Oceania, Temperate, and Grassland, which is what the wombats are supposed to be. 
all about. So, you tell me. Paradox? Not paradox. Speaking of too much uh, of one thing, ghost fungus. I have a feeling these do not normally just grow in the ground like this. They usually grow off of like logs, like most fungi do. But you know what? It kind of looks cool in these little gaps, so we'll, we'll, we'll plant a few. Mm. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain in that gap though, unfortunately. I could have rotated that, and that probably would have fit a little bit better in that back corner, but without clipping. Sure. See, the thing with fungi is they really like dark, damp places. I can't think of too many places other than maybe Tasmania and Australia that are moist enough that they would be able to house happy fungi like this. It's probably a little too much, though. I'm really going to do that. It's clipping in, but that's fine. Eh, can't do foxtail palms. I can't say I've also seen any of these palms anywhere around Australia, so I'm not sure how those are supposedly Australian. Well, I guess these aren't technically Australian. Now, gums definitely are. We'll say. Yeah, so that was like a sapling. But they have koalas, which is, you know, very koality individuals, those are. Hawa. That wasn't a predictable reference at all. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do... So I don't want it to clip, so I'm gonna do something like... That. I don't think it'll clip if I have it here. Stop. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Uh, let's see. And they just get bigger and bigger. And that's what she said when she left me. Oh, wait, nope. Uh. Yeah, I'll have a cluster fuck of them there. Why not? London Plain. How to know you've been colonized by Brits. Self named things. Oh, uh, let's see. I wanted to block. What is it like? What is that? Oh, that's the herb scent marker, my bad. Cool. Too many of these. Too many of trees or anything like that. Silky oak. But this was part of what I was planning here, was I wanted to, I wanted to, um, plant some plants on top of this, uh, set of rocks. I thought that would be kind of cool to look at, for sure. So that's growing out of the rock. I am talking about Dwayne Johnson. He grows a lot of plants and just how do you know. Uh, I'm gonna have this like tucked down over here. And then the large one will be not small, sorry. Yeah, up here. Don't feel too inferior, my friend. You'll be fine. You'll survive. If Donna Summers has anything to say about it, you'll survive. Um hmm. I wish I wouldn't force it to be crooked, but I guess I could alter it later. That would be fine, obviously. It literally just like slightly bigger, slightly bigger, slightly bigger. Okay, don't want to again over tree it, but we're gonna put one like right in this gap. That's the eucalyptus, that's the medium one. Sycamores and maples are not the same, so I'm not sure why it's saying that, but sure, sycamore maple. It's not a part of the shed. I, I guess I must have done that originally before by accident, but that's fine. It's a small one. I already went through that. Toria grass, you say?
do this, go over here. That shadow is actually pretty freaking mean, I can't tell. <laughs> Looking through it, I can't quite tell like where each thing is. That was pretty brutal to look through. That looks great, I think, personally. Oh, stop it, you picky individual. Something like a lot of plants, like, it just immediately get, rebels if you get very close to itself. It's just like, dude, you don't need to climb on top of each other and be that picky. My god. My dear doge. A lot of these probably are not anywhere near Australia, but it's totally fine. Like, it can bitch and moan and complain as much as it wants. I'm not gonna really care too much, I don't think. Close to other plants. Oh, <laughs> dude. So freaking piggy. My goodness gracious. Cool. Alright. Bush. Oh, those are a lot bigger than I thought they were. Let's go over here. Jesus Christ, you're huge. I keep forgetting how big this one is in particular. It's just massive. Your lord above. Why is it so huge? Like, comparative to these, it's just massive. 
I actually don't understand. It's pretty wild. Probably sticking through the glass a bit. Uh, that's it. And that's unnamed. That's it. That seems pretty freaking weirdly minimal. I'm not gonna lie. There's just cattails and reeds, which are really only for, uh... What do you call it? Water edges. I don't have any of that. Uh, that's a bad thing. It's just kind of awkward, I guess. That's what it is. Bracken, I believe, is a kind of fern, but I may be completely wrong. It always looked very ferny. zoom way in there is a gap in here could I get this to plant there no plus it's just fucking massive so what I should do is get the small one I would love for it to plant like right where I want it to right on the top of this rock but it won't so I think I'm gonna try to get it in that gap there Rotate this a lot and then like put it like right here, I think. And then I put one there. Because it's not where I wanted it. Oh, it's gonna float anyway. Oh that's annoying. I guess it should have figured, but that's kinda stupid. If that one can fit in here, it will go in there, which I'm happy about. Growing along the wall of that rock pretty much. That looks pretty cool. Lower that into that hole. And one like right in there. That looks really good. I definitely want one like in here. I think. Like right. Kinda sounds like a turkey. That's not really where I want it, because it has to clip into the rock, but I guess it's okay. Cool beans. Alright. I don't know about bracken, but I know that there's a lot of fern-like... Actually, ferns and lichens alike. Haha. <laughs> they do like to grow up in, like, crooks and crevices of trees. But I'm not so sure if bracken actually does that. I think it does, if I recall correctly, but... So that's going to be basically it for the likes of the trees and plants, I guess, because there's really not any others around, which is kind of awkward, so. There we go. Because this is an oak, we're going to put some uh, more autumn foliage on the ground around the basis of it. Not to. Let's see. Right, that is the smaller one. Whee! It's gonna be nice and slippery at the correct times of the year. There we go. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. See how I put the, the maple where these leaves would fall? Love it. You're looking good. It's not really a part of it. Okay, don't be so weird about that. Thanks. Oh my god, it's really not a part of it. Even here. Picky. My goodness, goodness gracious. Alright, do that. It's really all that half the float. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's that. So that's the end of the plants and the foliage. So, I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna go to the Wombatants again. We're gonna go back to Wikipedia. And we're gonna verify if they have any specifics around the type and kind. Of, uh, it doesn't really say, no. How much of grass or tall grass or no grass they need, which is interesting. And then, let's see. Yeah, so it automatically did that. Okay. So it doesn't really say. With a bunch of short grass. I know that uh, wombats like to eat taller grass. So I'm gonna try to get rid of a lot of this tall grass because the tall grass is very annoying. And it's not this tall grass that they like to eat. They like to eat the uh, slightly lesser grasses, but yeah. Realize this is at 100% intensity, so let's drop to like 80. Uh, now it's actually working really, really efficiently. 40. Because by default in this map, since it's African, I think it's African. Uh, it's just like tall grass is literally everywhere. Let's get rid of that. And the rest of it can remain. There's no problem with that. And I want to definitely have some more dirt, I think, around. Let's put a bunch underneath all of this. Where it hasn't been. So we also have this at 40, so that's. Just got rid of more of the uh the tall grass that was already here still. Yeah. And the burrito will be that. And then hopefully that'll be good. There's still a lot of grasses in around, so I probably should have still some more uh, dirt around, I feel like. So let me try to get some through here. Do it right through here, and then right to there. And we'll do some directly underneath this, because it is directly underneath this whole, uh, shelter area, so it's not like you're going to see anything anyway. Back there. So yeah, that, that's probably good. Alright. Now, let's get ourselves some game time running on. So we can get ourselves some quality wombats. Because currently... They're not in the greatest shape, as you can probably tell. So, none of them are. Oh wow, all of their genetics are crap. The best one is him, and I think the immunity can be helped 
uh, once you get them in because they'll realize, oh, these guys are, you know, they're not at good health, so. Already have one expired. Now who do we got? Yeah, so she's a new one. She's not too bad. So we can definitely adopt her out. She's not too young either. Waru instead of Wardu. And of course we already have a female, so we just need to wait for a applicable male to come in. Good, so we just need to wait another minute. Oh, we should be good. Just a typical lemur glitch. Wumble burrito. One and Wumble Burrito Dos Leches. Two milks. Alright. They speak Spanish in Australia, right? <laughs> uh yeah. Dangerous animals escape. What? And the Sam Hell is going on here. How? Did they change something? You are not escaped, you are in your habitat. So it was just glitched again. I have not had that bug before. I was thinking like somehow they like screwed up their own code when it came down to the Womble habitats or something. Nope. Okay, they're all hungry, but that's not really my problem because there's no excuse as to why this, they aren't being fed, basically. Feed the frickin' animals. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Everybody's hungry. We already have a war dude, that's right. <laughs> it didn't frickin' hey, what a doll, there it is. Cause it didn't frickin' have um What's your flarket? I even lost my train of thought. I don't. I don't know why they're not feeding him. We have plenty of keepers, so they're just being dumbasses, I guess. All right. So when it comes down to this, this is the Wumble territory. Territory. Enemy Wombatant. Enemy Wombatant. Very nice. Okay. I have no idea when the Womble will show up, but that's okay. We can press play again. We're good. We're good. Uh, you. You're the new one. Could be worse. Could be better. All right, there's our male and female. There's the two Wumbles. Ah, and here comes the lady now. I'm, I wanna know how you get rid of the UI though. That'd be great. Wait, I know how to do that, I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah right, right, right. I'm a lady. Look at her, she's so plump. Tarny. Shit name, not gonna lie. Oh, so cute! 
such a lump. What? Yeah, I can. It's so cute. <laughs> My goodness, what did you have to turn when I took a snapshot of you? I know. Look at it, Womble is so cute. Adorable little Wombatant. She's so cute. <laughs> How could you not love a Womble? They're just so cute. Enemy Wombatants. My lady need to turn towards the sun. I personally believe. Pro proper look at you. So freaking cute. No, that's just a human sniffing. Is a burrito, burrito Juan. All right, Tanny. Excuse me. Let me. What? Could I, could I zoom out, please? Thank you. That's the angle, I guess. The angle of the dangle. And there is our actual Birani. I want to just name it Indian style or Pakistani style and name it after the food. Birani. Uh, this will officially be Wardy Woo, though. Wardus. I mean, Wardu is what I wanted. And then eventually we'll have a Maxi. I mean, just Maxi, I think. Majestic Maxi. I am going sprained. Wardy Woo! There you go. Wobbles. How you doing? What you doing there, Wobbles? What you doing there, Wobbles? Cute. He actually looks smaller, interestingly, than, uh, what's her face? Are you taking a snoozle? No, but you are resting. That, how can you not think that's adorable? How could you not think they're cute? Look at that face. So cute! Yeah. Look at it, it's a lump. It's an adorable lump. Rump. But. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. It's disgusting. I'm offended. Okay. So that's that. So then what we're going to do... Let me guess. No. Right. I haven't set up a work zone. So what I need to do... Before I do anything else is I need to put the work zone on this. So that's zoo... Staff, I believe, is under there. As well. Yes. Work zones. Uh, and I want to see more of a map of my work zones. So I think, if I do recall correctly, um, it's under Far East End. Correct. So I can put it in this one or this one. Either way works. It's actually technically in both, so. Hello? Hello? Could I add it, please? I have to drag now to do that. Okay, that's a change. But there we go. Okay, so... It's covered now. By both work zones. Even though I didn't add it to the other one. Or no, it's not. It's just green. Uh, what was the other work zone? That's actually a good question. I'm assuming it was... It's been a long enough time, it's kind of hard to remember. I think... Either Mandrill's Lions... 
or the snow leopard haberdashery, or no, sorry, South Central. No, it's not South Central. Okay, so which snow leopard haberdashery is which one? Okay, it is this one. Okay. Well, then which one was that a part of? It's kind of interesting. I don't know. Well, at least it's covered, so that's what counts. That's what counts. What? So we got the Wombles. And now the question is, do we want to go for Coons next? And if so, I should put them back in here. I should think that would be a good idea, but... Hmm... I realize, though, I'm not done yet, because I need to add informational things. So, bins? Benches and security is not actually what I want to add. I want to add this. That's actually cool. Um, what I would like is... Conservation board, yes, but that's not what I'm mainly looking for. I'm mainly looking for, like, yeah, one of these. They're a lot bigger than I'm used to. I like the simplistic ones. Okay. The Lynx habitat? That seems wicked small. And not wicked in the good way. Alright, let's put you over here. Rotate the flip deck out of ya. Do this. Cool. Need you to be one button. Womble. Buad. Juan. Kill beings. And then. And then. And then. And then. And then uh, we're going to put this one. <coughs> I know I like to put them on the corners, but it kind of blocks that off. So I might have to skip out on that, but I think I will still put it on the corner, actually. It just takes up a lot of space for that to be there, but... So it's pretty unfortunate. Home in one button. And then, in preparation H for the future... One over here. This way, and Wobble. Womble. And then we can do the conservation board. We'll do on... Well, I don't know. Do we really need one? No, I don't think we need one over here. But... I'm going to do one here, because I know for a fact that I'm going to pull this uh, help path, staff path over here through. I would like to select one, it's not letting me select it, oh, whoops. Um, hmm. Restoration. Yeah, I'll just put an example up there instead. Send species reintroduction. Yeah, I'll keep that one, I guess. That's fair. Alright, and then last but not least for the paths, we're gonna pull these through. Or this through, I should say. 
move it around. This is not right. This is a normal path. Uh, whoops. It's fine to like change up the path randomly. Colorations. It's no big deal there. All good in the hood. And then I would like to connect. Do I really have to lengthen you in order to make you connect? No, you just don't want to connect. Kalola? Let's connect. It's really gonna refuse to connect no matter what I do, huh? But why? It only wants to connect if I curve it. Okay, that's kind of dumb, but okay. Go for it, I guess. Alright, and then I think next time round, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build both a fox and a uh, coon habitat. But, I think I'm going to actually end this, ep this episode. Whatever you want to consider it, this... This stream here, if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. And uh, if you're watching the VOD, how you doing? Thank you for watching the VOD. Oh, uh, yeah. But as usual, I'm going to end up leaving you guys off with uh, just some adorableness to enjoy the creatures of new that we have in the zoo. We have Wally Woo, we have Tani. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Until next time. See you around pretty soon, baby. Let me just try to get it to not be the one to do this. That's what I keep doing anyway. See you around! Stay safe with that. Enjoy the cuteness while you can. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank uh...